software idea lab. Um, it's me, Pierce, Oliver, and Charlotte, and Evie that are here. Okay. I, this is our mission. Our mission statement is we spread the love of learning through technology, problem solving, and creative thinking to give children new opportunities to help them build a better future. So talking about our progress and accomplishments, um, we've had 42 lessons created for our Wakelet in conjunction with FAU. Uh, we've delivered robots and supplies to Hope World to establish this literal idea lab, the lab. And uh, we've had Zoom and in-person lessons by the Idea Lab team about how the design thinking process works. We've taught them that to the pre-K three and through the fifth grade students. And we also included guests like retired aerospace engineer, Paul York. And he su supported the students by going on a Zoom for MIT scratch lessons. And we have a picture of that later in the slide, but that's not right now. We educated close to 74 migrant children in problem solving. We established a team of students grades six through eight to create video lessons, including our NJHS chapter at SVF. Uh, and we established a Twitter account for Idea Lab. These are students learning in the prototype stage. They're learning how to make a... And then these are the three and four-year-olds playing with the iPads. We didn't really expect this, but we're kind of surprised. And they're playing Scratch Junior. And Scratch is like a program where you can like code games and like play games also it's like you can make games and play them so another uh, accomplishment this one was kind of unexpected but uh mrs carbon alphorn is the media specialist and she's the facilitator of our learning she's the teacher and we are friends with her she's on site she partners with us she pulls the lessons and the videos from the wakelet she facilitates the zooms and before us, she didn't know or teach about design thinking, but after seeing like the love of this type of learning in her students, she said that she's changed as a teacher and she's now enrolled in the Instructional Technology Graduate Program at Florida Gulf Coast University. And uh, I think we're proud that we inspired her to advance her goals as a teacher. We turned our challenges and opportunities. We started Zooming with the students and it helped us to connect them to an engineer in the, in the community to deliver technology rich lessons. The obstacles we face have to do with COVID and the lack of in-person meetings. Zoom is not the same. We, will, we would have liked to be on the premises of the school more often than we were. This is a picture of the students with their hour of code certificates. This was the uh, Zoom with Mr. York. This is the picture I was talking about. So uh, usually our students meet monthly and they're active in writing and posting lessons to the Wakelet, creating flyers for events such as like the Christmas collection uh, and they create videos and they hold Zoom meetings and NJHS was included a lot in this too. This is the impact and it impacted 70 or more pre-K through fifth grade migrant children at Hope Rural and also the technology and design building supplies filled up six shelves in the media center. We also taught the students robotics and how to use the Minecraft software to play around with that and help them learn. This is also our social media. Our main type of social media is the Twitter. There's also an Instagram um, for the Idea Lab, but Twitter is the main thing that we use for it. So there are a couple different quotes from the people who've been working with the Idea Lab project. The first is from Ms. Carbon Alborn, who's the media specialist. She's incredibly grateful and she loves the entire design thinking lesson and she was on board right from the get-go. She truly loves technology and I'm very happy and proud for her to go back and get her master's degree. And she loves the children. She loves seeing them learn and loves seeing it click in their heads. And she's been so very grateful. Every single time that we come over, she's always profusely thanking us. She couldn't be happier. And then the other one is from Sister Elizabeth Dunn, who is the director at Hope Rural. She and another nun work there, kind of managing the school with the kids. We don't get to interact with her a lot, but whenever we do catch her, she always talks about how the kids are always so excited for Hope Rural. They're always so excited to like see what they're gonna do next week. What are they gonna learn? What are they gonna program? They always talk about it. And so whenever Friday rolls around, the kids are always like, on the edge of their seat saying, what are we gonna do next? What are we gonna do next? They're all so involved. They're just, they have such a great appreciation for learning the uh, design thinking process. And so this is just a little quote from me. And I joined this program about this time last year. And it was very much a kind of just hope for the best, cross our fingers and jump. 
best decision I made that summer. I really got to interact with kids in a way that I hadn't before. I mean, these kids loved learning in a way that I hadn't seen before. They listened intently. And like, whenever I gave those speeches, they're sitting there and they're just waiting. And it was dead silent. Nobody was talking. They were so focused. And I'm happy that I was able to influence people of all different ages, from the kids all the way up to Miss Alborn. And hopefully we'll be able to expand to other schools, hopefully. And something that I don't believe I've informed you, but um, I believe it was January, January of this past year, my school, St. John Paul II Academy, awards one student monthly the Lasallian Spirit Award. And that month, for my trip to Hope Rural, they um, awarded it to me. And it's based, this is what it looks like. You guys can take a peek. I don't know if it's like reversed, but there it is. <laughs> but basically, the award is given to a student who upholds the five pillars of Lasallian excellence concern for the poor and social justice, faith in the presence of God, respect for all persons, inclusive community and quality education. And so I'm really happy that I was able to win the award with you guys. We were looking in the future to purchase some more Chromebooks and iPads because yeah. we gave them to a lot of the students and it was really it was really nice to see them all interacting with that. They immediately just got on and started playing around. So yeah, there's that. I definitely muted myself. Uh, this is our budget. These are some of the technology things we bought to support their design thinking. And on the next slide, it, um, it shows um, some more things we bought. And as you can see, we have some pending orders that are pending because we are waiting for the debit card. We placed this order in April before the changeover. And we'll, we're gonna apply the remaining $2,468 to create a website, become a nonprofit and purchase a few more Chromebooks. And with the, we've spent $11,031 out of the 13500 we've been awarded. This is the timeline of basically what's been going on this past year, May, July of last year. We started interacting with Miss Carmen, and so we discussed how it would roll out. We created the Wakelet, and we started meeting with FAU to kind of make some lessons, and we ordered our first supplies. From August to October, we Zoomed with um, the sisters and once again, Miss Alhorn, we went to Hope Rural for the first time and delivered the supplies and we taught the design thinking method. Um, we organized a team of students to take the robots home and then we started creating the lessons for November to January. We added more lessons to the Wakelet. We created volunteer meetings every first Tuesday mm -hmm. and then fundraising campaigns and another trip to Hope Rural made. And then in the fourth quarter, um, the Florida Catholic newspaper recognized us and then urged, and we created lessons for the fifth graders, design thinking project with Zoom um, based on ocean pollution was created. And then um, this Friday, we are going to take a trip to Hope Rural for a graduation ceremony and present the fifth graders with their certificate. Our next steps, uh, obviously we don't plan to stop where we are right now. We're going to continue to teach children about design thinking for solving problems. We're actually working on our own website and we're going to add our wake to it in order to develop a curriculum that schools can use for their students. I believe Charlotte said this earlier, but we hope to expand our impact by growing to include another school uh, in our mission to inspire young students to become change makers. So this is what we plan to do in the future.